Hi everyone, my name is Lucy from Japan and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about the media report of Japan's Princess Kiko unable to eat normal meals after contracting a mysterious illness. This news was reported to overseas and it was also reported Kiko was tested for both COVID-19 and influenza and both tests came back negative. The results of an endoscopy performed by a doctor a few days later showed no abnormalities and it is currently believed that the cause of her mystery illness may be a stress-related stomach upset. Normally, when a member of the imperial family is reported to be in poor health, many Japanese are concerned and wish for speedy recovery. However, in a case of Kiko's illness, which is unable to eat normal meals, many Japanese are not only never concerned, but are disgusted by Kiko saying she did it again, and many believe that this mystery illness is a fraud. Let me tell you three reasons why the Japanese public thinks the news of Kiko's stomach illness is a kind of fraud. Number one, the retired Empress Michiko used the same technique to make the media mouth shut. When the media criticism of her becomes strong, retired Empress Michiko becomes ill to gain the public sympathy and dodge the media criticism. The aim is to draw the public attention to the fact that she is ill to divert attention from the media criticism and then to make the public angry at the media for its unkind criticism of the imperial family. In October 1993, former Empress Michiko suddenly became unconscious and collapsed during a discussion with the retired Emperor Akihito and her daughter Sayako Kuroda in a meeting room before her 59th birthday party at the Akasaka Imperial Palace. She soon regained consciousness but was unable to speak. And the birthday party was cancelled. The name of the illness was never revealed, but it was what is called psychogenic aphonia and she temporarily lost her voice. During the period, which was the fifth year since Michiko and the retired Emperor Akihito became Empress and Emperor, the media criticized Emperor Akihito and Empress Michiko for their extravagance compared to that of the late Emperor Hirohito and for cutting down the natural forest that the late Emperor Hirohito loved in order to build a new 5.6 billion yen, which is about 38 million US dollars residence at Michiko's order. In response to this criticism, when the Imperial Household Agency announced that Michiko had lost her voice due to stress caused by the media's mindless bashing reports, public opinion turned to the media for criticism. Some members of a right wing group even opened fire on the home of the publisher's president and for a while, criticism of Michiko by the media became a taboo subject. Thus, Michiko successfully used her illness to silence the media. Strangely speaking, Michiko's aphonia allowed her to speak properly when chatting with her daughter Sayako Kuroda and when discussing design and sewing with a dress designer to create a huge number of extravagant costumes. And the same thing happened again at the coronation of King Charles of the UK in May of last year. So many public objected to the fact that although the invitation was addressed to the Emperor Naruhito and Empress Masako, it was arranged at an early stage that Prince Akishino and his wife Kiko would attend the coronation ceremony instead of the Emperor Naruhito and Empress Masako. It was reported in some media that Kiko suffered from aphonia as a result of stress caused by the public opposition, exactly the same method that the retired Empress Michiko used to silence media criticism. However, despite her aphonia at the coronation, Kiko answered interviews from the Japanese media with her voice. The media asked her a very simple question about her impression of the coronation, but rather than losing her voice, she seemed unsure what to say 
asked her husband, Prince Akshino, for an answer and spoke just a few words as he asked her to. If she really had a phonia, she should not have attended the coronation when she had to chat with many guests. The method of reporting the illness to get public sympathy and attention and silence media and public criticism was effective 30 years ago, but it is no longer effective because we now know a lot of information through social media and if it is a lie, she will be exposed as having lied. Number two, Kiko's eldest daughter, Mako's complex PTSD is also suspected to be fraudulent. Mako Kumro, who married Kei Kumro, a commoner, in October 2021 and currently lives in New York, is the eldest daughter of Kiko and Prince Akshino. Many Japanese citizens oppose this marriage because of the financial troubles between Kei Kumro's mother and her former fiancé regarding Mako's marriage. Foley News reported that the reason the Japanese public opposed the marriage of Kei Kumuro and Mako was only the financial troubles between his mother and his former fiancé, but that is a rather small problem. The biggest problem is that all three of Kei Kumuro's father and grandparents died suspicious death in a short period of time. According to a media report, his father committed suicide and a week later, his grandfather also committed suicide. And a year later, his grandmother also passed away. All of them were ruled suicides. But the public was concerned about such a series of misfortunes for the relatives of the marriage partners. The suspicious deaths of Kei Komuro's father and grandparents are also rumored to be a dispute with Kei Komuro's mother over their inheritance. As for the financial troubles between Kei Komuro's mother and her former fiancé, according to Kei Komuro's own explanation, he himself was deeply involved in the troubles and claimed that he and his mother were given money that they borrowed and did not have to pay it back. Mako, who was a member of the imperial family at that time, and she should not be involved in the money troubles of her boyfriend, was also deeply involved in Komuro's family's financial problem. Then when public criticism of Kei Komuro and Mako's marriage reached its peak, Mako announced through her doctor that she had complex PTSD. This was also intended to silence public criticism, which many people suspected was fraudulent. The reason for this was complex PTSD is caused by severe traumatic experience, but she was performing her official duties normally and was told that she would get better once the public criticism was gone. But complex PTSD is not a mental illness that can be cured so easily. And complex PTSD is usually a disease that is said to arise from repeated causes of trauma such as domestic violence, physical or sexual abuse, or torture. If Mako really had complex PTSD, then there would have to be an immediate investigation into what kind of abuse took place in her home and in the imperial household during her growing up years. In fact, after it was announced that Mako Komuro had complex PTSD, there was some debate among psychiatrists as to whether this diagnosis was correct. Furthermore, if Mako really had complex PTSD, it would have been extremely difficult for her to obtain a visa come to the US but she obtained visa exceptionally quickly only about three weeks after she tied the knot with Kei Kumuro. In obtaining the visa, special measures were taken for a limited period of about three months to accommodate her schedule, and she was able to obtain the visa by mail only, without the interview that is usually required. It is said that this is also a very strange thing and that she may have taken advantage of the imperial privilege. Number three, 
Kiko is also currently being criticized by the public. As I told in Reason 1 and 2, when the media and the public criticized them more, mysteriously, the retired Empress Michiko and the female member of the Akishino family have used a method of becoming ill to gather sympathy from the public and cover up criticism by becoming sick. But having used the same method over and over again, many of the public no longer believe that it is a real illness. Currently, Kiko is aware that the public criticism of Akishino family is out of their control. Criticism are for the renovation costs for the Akishino family are too high, and Princess Kako, the second daughter, continues to live alone in one billion yen palace, contrary to the original explanation, and that various additional construction are needed to accommodate Kako's selfish desire to live alone. And criticism that 17-year-old Prince Hisahito's Dragonfly academic paper is suspected not written by himself and is suspected to be a gift authorship and that he will use the paper to get special admission to the University of Tokyo. Her own lack of intelligence and dignity as a member of the imperial family and the fact that she attends events here and there without being invited and receives a large amount of money for her attendance. In other words, the public is criticizing and demanding explanations for everything Kiko and Action family do, and it is extremely difficult for this family to gain public trust from here. In order to avoid the criticism, she reported that she had become stressed by the public criticism and had developed a mystery illness. However, this report of her mystery illness further invited the public anger. She reported her health condition that she simply stressed out and losing her appetite. Only a few days later, the devastating 7.6 earthquake in the Noto Peninsula, Ishikawa Prefecture, and the tragic plane crash at Tokyo's Haneda Airport that took the lives of five officers. With Noto Peninsula earthquake, so far 233 people died. So many people lost their lives, lost their families, lost their place to live, and being forced to live in shelters without enough food or water in a cold temperature. The fact she made a big news story out of something as simple as a lack of appetite shows how selfish she is and how little she cares about those who are truly in need. If it had been a stomach disease that was officially diagnosed and surgery is needed, it might be necessary to be reported. But I think she never should make a big fuss over a minor stomach condition right after a major earthquake. And there is much more important news than that. A five-year-old boy was severely burned by boiling water during the earthquake, but because he could not be hospitalized immediately after the quake, he could not receive enough medical treatment and died four days later. Compared to this boy, how fortunate is Kiko, who can receive best medical care if she says she has no appetite? Although there are those who may feel antipathy toward the news reports of Kiko's stomach problems, there are very few who feel sympathy for her. She actually attended an event in Saitama Prefecture on January 18 and had the same lunch as the Saitama governor, so she's already recovered enough to be able to eat normal meals. And on January 26, she came to see an exhibition of roses. If Kiko had any sense of feeling sympathy with the people who are suffering far more than she is, she should have quietly rested instead of making a big deal out of her minor stomach problems such as she had no appetite. And if Kiko is going to make a big deal out of something like this, she has a lot of things to explain to the public, like how much tax money she has wasted. So I would like to her to report on the point that the public is questioning and interested in. 
That's all I'd like to say today. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like the video. And if you want to know more truths of Japanese imperial family, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye.